petroleum oil, gas, coal, and nuclear fuels have been the main source of energy since the 1700s. Our economy, machines, and industries have become dependent on the constant availability of these fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are non-renewable sources of energy. This means that the reserves we have are finite. Though fossil fuels seem to have a great economic value in our society, they serve as a major threat to the environment. Unhealthy ecosystems pose a threat to human welfare as well as biodiversity. They are believing a sustainable future just as a thought. At the rate of extraction taking place today, it will not take long before the supply of some of these fossil fuels have been exhausted. Thus, there is an urgency to find renewable clean energy sources, part of the reasoning being that these new technologies are much better for the environment, the other being that we will still be energy dependent once these supplies have been used up. The question is, how green and reliable are these alternative technologies? My name is Claire Brandt and I'd like to welcome you on an adventure to discover whether renewable energy is really green. So one might ask, what is renewable energy and what does it mean to be green? Well, in order to find out more about renewable energy technologies, I did some research and discovered an island that depends on these specific kinds of technology. Utopia Island is orientated on sustainable living where the local people refuse to use fossil fuels as a source of energy. Utopians believe in having a healthy planet and create a virtual world in which they are adapted to the challenges posed by the exploitation of oil and climate change. Upon arrival, I met with one of the locals, Sarah, who works in the Sustainable Energy Lab to find out how the alternative energy route has influenced the Utopians' lives and what improvements have occurred within the surrounding environments. Sarah informed me that renewable energy, or rather sustainable energy, meets the needs of the present generation without compromising the needs of the future generations. Renewable energy mainly comes from natural resources, which are constantly replaced once replenished. They are less of a threat to the environment due to less carbon emissions and land pollution. Renewable energy has five common main technologies, including the following. Firstly, we have solar energy, where the heat from the sun is absorbed by electromagnetic panels, producing energy that is transferred to various kinds of equipment. As seen on the island, the Utopians make use of solar panels. Secondly, wind energy is generated by the turning motion of wind turbines, therefore generating electricity. Thirdly, hydropower energy is produced and collected as water flows from one point to another. Fourthly, biomass energy is usually derived from biological or organic matter from plants and animal waste. And lastly, geothermal energy is produced from thermal energy contained in the rocks found within the Earth's crust. According to research, although the benefits weigh more than the disadvantages, these technologies, however, still pose a negative impact on the environment. Many of the solar and wind technologies take up a lot of space, therefore land is always needed. Hence, the land use requirements of these technologies may threaten the environment. Providing ever-growing volumes of products and services to support economic development also gives us pollution and costs that are externalized onto the population in one form or another. For example, higher taxes for regulation, disease and expensive health insurance for chronic illnesses. Increases in pollution allow excessive concentrations of toxins in the air contributing to the asthma epidemic, among other respiratory problems. In addition, this may influence the contamination of food and water shortages. With that said, there is one major concern around the globe, and that is whether there will be enough green energy 
to energy to replace fossil fuels. As seen in Camerado, Ethiopia iron depends on quite a few of these renewable technologies, and just as Syria has mentioned, they all provide amazing advantages and economic benefits to the local people. Ethiopians are happy with the choice of technology that they are using. They say it has improved their way of living and there has been a decline in health risks amongst the population as well as in the status of the surrounding ecosystems. Not only has it done so, it has also brought about an increase in their independence and sense of security, providing larger amounts of electricity than before. Throughout my stay, Sera showed me how the local community has improved and how they have diligently applied these technologies to living out their dream of creating a sustainable earth. Sera was kind enough to even show us how the main tourist attraction, the cable car, runs. The whole cable car mechanism is solely run on the renewable energy technology, such as the solar panels, the wind turbines and hydro power. Further research has showed me that renewable energy technologies are growing rapidly all over the world, and this will be due to their cost effectiveness. They are easily accessible and available to all, such as households, industries and the corporate world. Similar to the non-renewable energy technologies, green energy provides job creation, great export opportunities and can be used for tourism purposes. Just as the Ethiopians have shared, these technologies impose less health risks and lower levels of carbon emissions. The productions of these technologies are also quite cheap and may be the solution for the upliftment of poor and rural communities. This may be two of the reasons as to why renewable energy is well received and seen as sustainable rather than non-renewable energies. Moving towards energy sustainability will require changes not only in the way energy is supplied but in the way it is used and reducing the amount of energy required to deliver various goods or services is essential. This takes me back to the question, is renewable energy really green? In my opinion and from what I've gathered from my stay in Ethiopia, I'd say yes, renewable energy is green to a certain extent. Although they introduce some negative impacts to the environment, they are still quite beneficial to the economy as well as where renewable energy technologies are the solution for the reduction of greenhouse gases generated by the power sector. However, we have to take into account the complete life cycle of these technologies, such as how much energy is needed to produce them, to transport them, to install them, to maintain them and to dispose of them. Taking into account all of these factors, these technologies will be viewed as green if they are properly.